Hey guys, it's Jordan. It's been so long since I made a video. Oh my god, this is like sad, kind of. Yeah, you know. You're gonna probably hear my dryer or washer in the background, so FYI. I just wanted to come to you today to do a little life lesson. Life lessons with Jordan. We've done this before, guys, and we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna tell you a story about a time when I was driving, you know, and I was just driving down the road like a normal day and this bird flew from the sky into the ground. And you know, birds are always like, you know, usually in the road. And so I was just like, this bird is gonna fly away. This bird will fly away because that's what birds do. When you drive, they usually get scared, they fly away. No, it didn't fly away. I kept going and I hit this bird. I hit it. And I tried so hard to like swerve and miss it so I didn't like literally run it over But it hit something under my car feathers flew up behind me There was a person behind me and then feathers flew all over their windshield And I know that that sounds a little dramatic, but literally I saw feathers in my rearview mirror flying up in the air I felt so bad. I was just like, oh my god. I just hit a bird The people behind me probably thought I was crazy because I just hit this bird But what is I supposed to do? I couldn't stop and get you know in a car accident again so, the whole reason I'm telling you the story of me hitting a bird is because this is much like life, okay? And I'm going to relate it for you. In life, it seems that we are often in situations, just like this bird, where we have the ability to leave the situation. We have the ability to get out of something that's dangerous or we know that could cause us harm. Yet, we allow ourselves to stay there because we're naive or we're just blind to it and maybe we just don't think we'll get hurt. But, like the bird, you could get hurt. You could end up dead. The way I'm tying this whole story around, stay with me, okay? Don't be the bird, okay? Just don't be the bird in life. If you know that you're in a situation or some type of place that you don't need to be, that's not good for you, that could bring you harm, and you know that you can get out of there, don't be stupid. Get out, or your feathers are gonna fly up in the air behind someone else's car. You're gonna end up just like that bird. Hopefully that bird lived, by the way. I don't want you guys to die. <laughs> it's just that moral of the story is I've been in a situations lately too where it's like I'll get stuck in there and then you just, or you're so caught up in it that you just don't think that you can even get out of it. You can, you have the ability to get out of it. It's just that you can't be so naive to think that, mm, it's okay to stay here. I know I haven't made very many videos and I'm so sorry guys. I just want to catch you up with my life As you see I have blue hair. You see this blue hair. It was a little bit more gray and blue, but it's fading now I got a new tattoo on my wrist here. It says I'm not lost. I'm on my way So that's pretty exciting and my birthday is coming. So yeah, ah, so much going on. Oh my god. It's summer still But yeah, July baby cancer. Oh my god. Praise Jesus. I'm just doing a bunch of random stuff now. This is too much. You guys probably think I'm weird. Because I am. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, sticking with me, and living my life with me pretty much. Because that's what you're doing. And if you want, you can go ahead and follow and add me on all of my social media. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, especially Instagram, you know? Yeah, down there in the crotch box. Just drop it down, get in there. You know, you want to... Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. I'm gonna try to fly away like a bird without getting hit. Damn, come on, washer. Like, really? You don't have to do all that. Playing me motherfucking jingle. <sighs>